What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be building a budget type toolbox workbench for this massive space that I've got behind me in my garage. Now I had this nasty workbench that I made a long time ago there before. I ended up giving it away for free because it was just really abused. I didn't take very good care of it and it was just kind of cobbled together two by fours and plywood on top and it did the job but I'm really looking forward to having something that's a lot more durable and I can have a lot more storage space with a toolbox. Now here are the items that I'm actually going to be using for this build. I've got a butcher block top that I purchased from Lowe's. I've got a toolbox that I got from Harbor Freight. I have some casters and I've got some polyurethane that I'm going to be coating the top of the butcher block with. Uh, that way it's more of a durable, water resistant type surface that I don't have to worry about spilling little stuff on there. Uh, and it's gonna make it a lot more hardy and last a lot longer in a garage that gets used all the time. I also have some inch and a half square tubing, and this is going to be making up the frame of the entire workbench in order to give it kind of a more sturdy feel and add a little bit more weight to it. That way it serves as a really solid workbench. Now, a lot of companies actually make workbenches that are kind of similar to what I'm going to be making, but they were all way outside of my price range and they didn't really fit specifically what I wanted because I'm kind of just looking for a really long work surface that has an integrated toolbox in it, but isn't the entire thing being taken up by a toolbox because a lot of the stuff with butcher block hardtops have the entire span of it being a toolbox or it's just the workbench with two legs on both sides and then you might be able to slide a toolbox in and out but you had to buy them separately and that really wasn't what I was looking for. So that
one. I did put like four coats of the urethane on top of it. I didn't do the best job. I put it on a little bit too thick on the second coat and it kind of bubbled up. It didn't dry fully even though I let it sit for about 12 hours and I tried to sand it and I messed it all up. So it's not the smoothest surface, um, but it is waterproof. It's definitely really hardy. Uh, I may sand some of it down because it is kind of rough in these areas and it doesn't look as uniform as it does like over there. Um, but it still looks pretty good and it's definitely going to be a really strong, durable workpiece as long as I keep the grinding away from it, um, paint, stuff like that. Definitely going to be better about taking care of the bench in the future. And now I need to figure out a way to organize all these drawers because I had a lot of random stuff in there, not really tools and things. Uh, a lot of electrical supplies, a lot of screws, different nuts, bolts, stuff like that. So if you have good organization tips or anything like that for a box like this, please drop them below in the comment box. Let me know what you have in mind. Uh, I definitely would appreciate a little bit of advice on it. I've definitely done a lot of research, but it's always cool to see more of what other people have done on organizing their toolboxes, as well as like all the little stuff that's kind of annoying to organize like different screws, nuts, bolts. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway. I'm going to end this video out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. I hope you subscribe. There's going to be more videos in the future, and I'll see you with the next one.